Is the Quran a anti Semitic? Part 1 of 2 The Semites, a chosen people. A look into the claim that the Quran, Islam, and thus Muslims are anti Semitic. Description The designation of the Semitic race and the favorable position of the Jews with God. There is a huge cry these days by certain groups claiming that the Quran is anti Semitic. Even leading to certain of its translations being banned in various school districts in the United States of America. Care distributes Quran banned as anti Semitic. By Artmore 2005 WorldNetDaily.com. We read about the definition of anti Semitism in the Jewish Encyclopedia. The term anti-Semitism has its origin in the ethnological theory that the Jews, as Semites, are entirely different from the Aryan or Indo-European populations and can never be amalgamated with them. The word implies that the Jews are not opposed on account of their religion, but on account of their racial characteristics. Anti-Semitism Gotthard Deutsch The Jewish Encyclopedia, http, www.jewishencyclopedia.com view friendly.jsp Arted equals 1603 and letter equals a one will immediately realize from this statement that the Quran is not at all anti-Semitic. And that the verses which do reprimand the Jews are specific to certain transgressions they made in regards to their religion, and not in regard to their racial origin. Who are the Semites? Biblically, the most general designation of the Semites are all the descendants of Shem, one of the three sons of Noah, either the first or the last in conflicting opinions of biblical scholars. But always the first mentioned, Shem. Emil G. Hirsch, Ira Maurice Price, Wilhelm Bakker, M. Seligson. The Jewish Encyclopedia. It was in the house of Shem where the Shekinah, a word denoting the a presence of God, about which biblical scholars have differed much over its exact reality. Shekinah. Kaufman Kohler, Ludwig Blau. The Jewish Encyclopedia. Was to dwell, and he is singled out with much other praise and blessings in the Bible. It is clear that, according to the biblical classification, the Arabs, Babylonians, Assyrians, Arameans, and Hebrews were regarded as Semites, or the descendants of Shem. Anti-Semitism Gotthard Deutsch The Jewish Encyclopedia Modern scholars, placing greater emphasis on language derivation, include Abyssinians, Phoenicians, Canaanites, Hebrews, Moabites, and Edomites to those mentioned before. In whichever context we discuss the subjects, the Arabs, like the Hebrews, and thus Jews, are clearly Semites as well. Thus to say that the Quran is anti-Semitic is to say that the Quran makes the entire Semitic race inferior others, and that would include Arabs as well. Something improbable as God favored both these nations with prophets. In rabbinical texts of the Jews, the priesthood of Shem is transferred to Abraham. And it is from this transference of priesthood that the Jews take themselves to be the chosen people and claim ownership of the lands of Canaan, in which lies present-day Palestine. As they claim the Shekinah to have transferred to Abraham and his progeny, specifically Isaac, and thus the Semitic preference of God is specific to them, and more specifically, the Israelites. The progeny of Israel, also known as Isaac, son of Abraham. The Semites, a chosen people. Rather than rendering the Israelites as being an inferior race, the Quran affirms their favorable position amongst humanity. This is due to the immense sacrifices of Abraham and his invocations to God to make prophets, from his progeny that God had chosen his children as the receptacles of prophecy. Abraham called to his Lord. And we bestowed upon him Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, each of them we guided, and before him, we guided Noah, and among his progeny David, Solomon, Job, Joseph, Moses, and Aaron. Thus do we reward the good doers. And Zechariah, and John and Jesus and Elias, each one of them was of the righteous and Ishmael and Elisha, and Jonah and Lot, and each one of them we preferred above all the worlds. And also some of their fathers and their progeny and their brethren, we chose them, and we guided them to a straight path. This is the guidance of God with which he guides whomsoever he will of his slaves. But if they had joined and worship others with God, all that they used to do would have been of no benefit to them. They are those whom we gave the book, the understanding, and prophethood. Quran 6 83-87 The argument of the setting of the star, moon, and sun, which Abraham used to defeat his people in the debate, is my argument, which I showed and gave him to use against his people. I raise and rank whichever of my servants I wish in this world and the afterlife. Your Lord, O Messenger, is wise in his creation and handling of matters, and he knows about his servants. I blessed Abraham with his son Isaac and his grandson Jacob, and I guided each of them to the straight path. Before them, I guided to the path of truth Noah, and from the descendants of Noah, I guided David, his son Solomon, Job, Joseph, Moses, and his brother Aaron, peace be upon them. 
just as I gave the prophets a reward for doing good, I will give a similar reward to all those who do good, even if they are not prophets. In a similar way, I guided Zechariah, John, Jesus son of Mary, and Elijah, peace be upon them. All these prophets were of the righteous, who were chosen by Allah to be messengers. In a similar way, I guided Ishmael, Elisha, Jonah, and Lot, peace be upon them. I favored all of them with prophethood, with Muhammad, peace be upon him, being the best of them, superior to all other people. I also guided some of their forefathers, descendants, and brothers, whom I had willed to guide. I selected them and made them take the straight path, the path of Allah's oneness and his obedience. Al-Anam 83-87 the Israelites are a chosen people, because God chose to raise prophets amongst them. The Quran in numerous places recognizes this favor and reminds the Israelites of it. O children of Israel, the Israelites, remember and mention the favor which I bestowed upon you, and that I favored you amongst all the worlds. Quran 247, 2 122. O Israelites, remember the sacred and worldly blessings which I gave to you, and that I favored you over all those of your time in terms of prophethood and power. Al-Baqarah, 47. O Israelites, remember the blessings, sacred and worthy, which I gave to you, and remember that I favored you over those of your time with prophethood and authority. Al-Baqarah 122 And indeed we gave the children of Israel, the Israelites, the scripture, and the understanding of the scripture and its laws, and the prophethood. And provided them with good things, and preferred them above all the worlds. Quran 45 16 I granted the Israelites the Torah and deciding between people according to its rule, and I made most of the prophets among SST them from the children of Abraham, peace be upon him. And I provided them with different types of good things and I granted them virtue over the worlds in their era. al 16 God favored them with numerous blessings in addition to the prophets, such as providing them heavenly food, called manna and salwa. Also in Exodus 16. O children of Israel, the Israelites. We delivered you from your enemy, and we made a covenant with you on the right side of the mount, and we sent down to you manna and quails, salwa. Quran 20 hours 80 minutes. And I said to the children of Israel after saving them from Pharaoh and his armies. O children of Israel, I saved you from your enemy, and I promised you that I will speak to Moses to the right of the valley by Mount Tur. And I sent down to you whilst you were wandering food you can eat which is sweet and resembles gum, and birds which resemble quails. Surah Taha 80 God saved them from the savagery of Pharaoh by sending to them Moses, who led them across the Red Sea to inhabit the blessed land of Canaan. And we made the people who were considered weak to inherit the eastern parts of the land and the western parts thereof which we have blessed. And the fair word of your Lord was fulfilled for the children of Israel, the Israelites, because of their endurance. And we destroyed completely all the great works and buildings which Pharaoh and his people erected. Quran 7:137. I made the children of Israel, who had been humiliated by Pharaoh and his people, inherit the eastern areas of the land and the western areas of it, the lands of the Levant. Allah blessed this land, making it produce the best crops and fruits. So the good word of your Lord was fulfilled O Messenger where Allah says, I wish to favor those who were weak in the earth, and to make them leaders and inheritors, Surah al Qasas, 5. So God established them in the land because of their patience in the face of the harm they had suffered from Pharaoh and his people, and God destroyed the agriculture and buildings of Pharaoh and the palaces they had constructed. Al-Araf 137 This preference given to the Israelites was not on account of their racial superiority, as mentioned earlier, but rather due to the great sacrifices of Abraham and his supplications which God answered. And this preference was given to the Israelites as long as they kept to their covenant which God made with them. Indeed God took the covenant from the children of Israel the Jews, and we appointed twelve leaders among them. And God said, I am with you if you establish the prayer and offer the zakat, compulsory charity, and believe in my messengers, honor and assist them, and lend to God a good loan. Verily, I will remit your sins and admit you to gardens under which rivers flow, in paradise. But if any of you after this, disbelieved, he has indeed gone astray from the straight path. Quran 5:12. Allah had taken a firm promise from the children of Israel, when he appointed over them twelve chiefs who were placed in authority over them. Allah said to the Israelites, I am with you with my help and support if you establish the prayer in the complete manner, give zakat from your wealth, accept all of my messengers without distinction, honor them, assist them and spend in good causes. If you do all of this, I will wipe out the sins you commit and I will enter you, on the day of judgment, into gardens with palaces overlooking flowing streams. Whoever disbelieves after making this promise has knowingly and deliberately deviated from the path of truth. Almida 12. 
Is the Quran anti-Semitic? A look into the claim that the Quran, Islam and thus Muslims are anti-Semitic. Part 2 of 2 Abiding by the Covenant God's favor is in keeping to the commandments. As mentioned earlier, the favor of God towards the Israelites was with them as long as they kept to the covenant which God made with them. This fact is also stated by Jews themselves, because of our acceptance of Torah, Jews have a special status in the eyes of G.O.D., but we lose that special status when we abandon Torah. H.T.T.P. Thus we understand that the favor of God is not a racial aspect, nor is it binding till eternity. Rather, his favor is upon those that fulfill the commandments. An Israelite who does not keep to the commandments is not included in this favor. The Jews broke the covenant of God. God mentions in numerous places in the Quran that the Jews broke the covenant God made with them, through various transgressions they committed in their religion. These transgressions varied from falling into error and worshipping others besides God, an act which broke the first of the Ten Commandments, Exodus 32, Quran 7. 148, to changing and interpolating the Torah to their befitting, Quran 2 hours 75 minutes. O believers, do not expect, after knowing their true nature and how stubborn they are, that they will be truthful and respond to you. A group of their scholars heard the word of Allah revealed to them in the Torah, and then changed its words and meanings after they had understood what it really meant. And they did this fully aware of the seriousness of the crime. Al-Baqarah, 75 After Moses had gone to meet with his Lord, his people took to worshipping a statue of a calf made from their ornaments, not possessing any soul, but which made a sound. Did they not know that this calf could not speak to them or guide them to any good way, material or spiritual? And that it could not bring anything of benefit to them or remove anything harmful from them? But they took to worshipping it and wronged themselves by doing so. al 148 Out of the mercy of God, he continued to send prophets to them for their rectification. Instead of following the prophets which God sent to them, if they brought something which the rabbis did not like, they would reject the prophets and even kill them. This certainly amounted to disbelief in God, and, due to this, the favor which God had for the Jews was lifted. God says in the Quran, Indignity is put over them, the Jews, wherever they may be, except when under a covenant of protection from God and from men. They have drawn on themselves the wrath of God, and destruction is put over them. This is because they disbelieved in the signs of God and killed the prophets without right. This is because they disobeyed God and used to transgress beyond bounds in God's disobedience, crimes and sins. Quran 3 112 Humiliation and shame has been made to surround them wherever they are, and they are only safe with a contract or protection from Allah or from people. They have earned the anger of Allah, and need and poverty has been made to surround them. This is due to their rejection of the signs of Allah, killing the prophets unjustly, and because they rebelled and overstepped the limits of Allah. Having made clear what many of the people of the scripture are like. Allah then explains that there is a group among them who are upright and stand by the truth, not all the people of the scripture are the same. Rather, there is a group among them who follow the religion of Allah. Doing as Allah instructs and staying away from what he has prohibited, reading the verses of Allah in the hours of the night, and praying to him. This group existed before the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was sent, and became Muslim when they met him and understood his message. Ali Imran 112-113 The Bible too speaks this fact of the Jews killing the prophets of God in 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 15, and repeated in Acts 7 verse 52. We also read in Romans 11 verse 3 that the Prophet Elijah appealed against the Israelites. Lord, they have killed your prophets and torn down your altars, I am the only one left, and they are trying to kill me. One of the most serious of these offenses was the rejection of Jesus, a clear sign and miracle sent to the Jews. It was through this prophet that the favor of God towards the Jews as a nation was replaced by his anger and wrath. The only Jews who remained a chosen were those who followed Jesus, the Nazarene Christians, Acts 24 verse 5. Tertullus named Paul, the ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes, though the Nazarite church was actually presided over by, James, the just, bishop of Jerusalem. Are Christians the chosen people of God? A fact that Christians and Muslims both agree to, contrary to the Jews, is that the love of God is not limited or specific to a chosen race, but rather, to those who keep to his covenants. Although Jesus was sent specifically to the Jews, Matthew 15 verse 24. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. Christianity has seen itself throughout history to be a religion for all people. Thus, according to Christians, anyone who accepts the teachings of Jesus earns the love of God and his grace and favor, and anyone who rejects it is doomed to hell. 
This is a point which Muslims also agree to, but the fact remains that the Christians do not actually follow the teachings of Jesus, as he ordered his followers to keep to the commandment of the Jews. The greatest of which is that God alone deserves worship. It is the Christians' worship of Jesus and ascribing divinity to him that is one of the reasons why they have also earned the anger, and not the favor of God. Reprimanding of other peoples When we analyze the verses which reprimand the Jews in the Quran, we see, as mentioned previously, that they revolve around certain commandments which they broke and certain punishments which were meted out to them. This criticism is not limited to the Jews, but it is clearly extended in the Quran and Sunnah to all those who disobey the commandments of God throughout history until this day, even the Muslims. God says about a Muslim who kills another Muslim intentionally. And whoever kills a believer intentionally, his recompense is held to abide therein, and the wrath and the curse of God are upon him, and a great punishment is prepared for him. Quran 4 hours 93 minutes. If anyone kills a believer, deliberately intending to do so, his recompense will be held to live there eternally. Allah will be angry with him, distance him from his mercy, and will prepare for him a great punishment for committing such a serious crime. But he will be punished in it for a long period and will then be removed from there through Allah's grace. Anisa in 93 we see from this that these severe verses found in the Quran are addressed to all those who break the commandments of God, and not to specific races or peoples. Likewise, the only people who are chosen and favored by God are the pious from every nation, and not a specific race or people. Jews, Christians, and all others who are true to their religion and original teachings will go to paradise, as God himself says. Verily. Those who have believed, the Muslims, and those who were Jews and Christians, and Sabians, whoever correctly believed in God and the last day and do righteous good deeds. They shall have their reward with their Lord, on them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. Quran 2 hours 62 minutes. Those who have faith from the nation of Muhammad, peace be upon him, and from the communities who came before him, from the Jews. The Christians and Sabians, said to be a group who followed prophets who were of the faith of Abraham, peace be upon him, will have their reward with their Lord. They will not fear what awaits them in the afterlife, nor grieve over what happened to them on earth. This was the case before the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was sent. His message of Islam e devotion and dedication to Allah is the only way of life accepted by Allah, as he said, whoever seeks a path other than Islam. It will not be accepted from him, Surah Al-Imran, 85. Al-Baqarah, 62. Those, however, who did not follow the commandments of their religion and do not believe in Islam are destined to hell. This is because Islam is the only religion which is accepted by God after the revelation of his final message to Prophet Muhammad. May the mercy and blessings of God be upon him. Verily those who disbelieve from among the people of the scripture and the polytheists will abide in the fire of hell. They are the worst of creatures. Quran 98,6 Indeed, those who disbelieved it from the Jews, the Christians, and the idolaters, will enter into hell on the day of judgment, wherein they shall remain forever. They are the worst of the creation because of their disbelief in Allah and rejection of his messenger. Al-Bayyina 8